Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today back on R-Factor 2 continuing on this full week's worth of racing in what is a recreation of the Austrian Grand Prix around the Red Bull Ring, formerly known as the A1 Ring, today in the Porsche Super Cup. So we've had one race so far in the Formula 2 category, that was the feature race that was over on F1 2020. Managed to get a second in that. Yesterday in Formula 3 was a sixth place finish I think we got in the end and today, well, transferring to something completely different once again, absolutely absolutely no downforce, a fair bit of power, but yeah, this compared to a Formula 3 car compared to a Formula 2 car is completely different. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this race. I managed to crash in qualifying, so we're starting off with dead last, which should be a little bit fun racing through the field. Uh, nine laps is the total race length, so around half of what it is in real life. Setup wise, I've just sort of built on this set that I've run in this car over the full sort of year. This is the same actual mod itself or car mod itself as what you'll find on the Steam store. So, however, I have managed a 2019 set of skins from the Porsche Super Cup. Uh, all the links to all the mods in this video are in the description below, but yeah, without any further ado, let's set away on this formation lap and get on with things. Alrighty, here we go. First race of the season in the Porsche Super Cup. On our factor two, Austrian Grand Prix. Oh, jeez, light's gone out quicker than I anticipated. Decent getaway though. All right, down into turn one. Oh my god, there's cars everywhere. This is gonna be stupid. Just don't hit anyone. It's a lot of curb. All right, survived. Whoa, hold on to it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Medic. All right. We need the Krankenwagen! Get it stopped, get it stopped, get it stopped. Survive the hairpin. Man, this mod is absolutely nuts. Just going everywhere. Now, stop to get down the hill. Just. Uh. Oh! Uh. She's. Need some serious reaction speed in these things. Not to just drive it, but to avoid everyone else. Uh, oh. Uh, someone's hit the fence. No, don't come back on the track. God, AI are just losing their minds. Right. Up over the rise and now into the sketchiest part of the track. Right, that one is in the books. Survived. <laughs> the most successful sort of aspect of that first lap was just getting back around the start finish line. Oh man. Oh. You can never sort of judge where the AI is going to break. Sort of just go and break in a different point on each corner. It's really quite annoying. There's some sometimes they'll break early, sometimes they'll break later than you anticipate. The joys of racing offline, I suppose. Alright, just chuck it up the inside. Elbows out. It's a 16th. We're actually up quite a few spots on that first sort of, first sort of two laps. They have pretty good pray, uh, pace in practice. Just screwed it all up in the qualifying session and could be, <laughs> be asked going back and doing it again. I don't do restarts. I like to keep it as real as possible. Fuck up, we fuck up. Oh. Dive it in on the rears. There's no grip here, far out. Struggling to get these tyres up to pressure. Up to temperature, more like it. It. No steward to police track limits, which has always been such a big thing around here since F1's return. Yeah, I'll try and keep it as realistic as possible. It's just got so much understeer right now. Right, can 
Come on. Only got nine laps, so it's not a long race. Get a head down and do something here. Nine laps or 15 minutes. Whichever one comes first. Oh! Bit of a wiggle going. <laughs> Mark Sheeny, that's a little Sheeny. He's been around for a while. Definitely <laughs> quite difficult going from a Formula 3 car to one of these. It's just so much less grip. But I do love the Porsches. Porsche GT3 Cup car is fun on any any game. Not that I feel this is that realistic a rendition of it. This is the car you'll find on the Steam store. And compared to iRacing or uh, what else is there? Uh, I think what else I've driven this car on maybe Automobilista. Whoa, gee, <laughs> two wheeled that one. Yeah, no, this isn't the most realistic rendition of the Porsche GT3 Cup car. I've driven one of these cars in real life once before, and it's just this mod feels like it just has no grip on it. Cut back, couldn't get it. Uh, it's getting hot in here, I'll tell you what. How uh, hot it gets in this room. Definitely have a lot more pace than the cars in front of us. Just can't quite get by, old mate, in the. I don't even know what you call that paint scheme. <laughs> Looks like a call in Australia, you'd call that a paddle pop. Uh, it's one of the things on R Factor I don't quite like is the way the curbs seem to just like grab the car and pull you in whichever direction you're going. Oh man, got that curb wrong. Porsches, especially with the curves, they really do bounce around quite a lot. Which I guess is quite realistic. Uh -huh. Alright, let's do it this time. Draft! Done that time. Just about halfway through this one. We're in 14th. To be fair, I've actually raced. Uh, I think that's where's he gone? Jackson Evans. He's a regular in this series. He was one of my teammates back in the karting days. Kiwi. Lovely kid. Well, not a kid anymore. <laughs> no, he was... I think he's up into... or has got himself a ride in the BWT team. Uh, he's definitely looking like he's going to follow in the footsteps of... Oh, jeez. Come on. Hold on to it. Oh, <laughs> back during there. Well, anyway. Yeah, it looks like it'll follow in the footsteps of some of the other Kiwi Porsche factory drivers. I've forgotten his name now. Uh, Earl Bamba? That's it. Uh, slowly making some time up on the guys in front, but I'm running out of time here. These races aren't long.
<laughs> just all over this guy's ass. Oh, onto it, on onto it, on onto it. No. Oh, no. Oh, you toss spot. Why did, why did I think I was going to actually make it around the outside there? That is just, it's never been done on this track, and I don't know why. I thought I, I had it for a moment, but anyway, we've probably got a ton of damage here, and just, you know, I'm not even going to bother trying to make this thing go to the end, but, well, that's that. <laughs> Sorry, lads, that was, uh, yeah, short-lived, but... Anyway, on to the next one. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned for Formula 2. That will be back uh, back in the F2 car tomorrow. And, yeah, hopefully not try and do that again. <laughs>